I want to keep this short and sweet because I wrote something that I want to share with you. But um, first of all, I just want to say how grateful I am. Um, I've reached a million subscribers on YouTube, which is a flipping huge milestone. Um, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who supported my music over the years, whether you're n newly on board or have been here for a while. I wanted to say thank you to the YouTube reaction community who have gotten behind my stuff in a big way and really helped me reach this goal. So thank you guys. Um, yeah, I wanted to read this 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 passage that i wrote about success is too much for me to remember right now so bear with me but yeah success to me means that i have a responsibility that transcends me if i have a platform where people are paying attention then i feel like it's my duty to make that count it's far more important than my aspirations with music and what i could personally gain there's a saying that stuck with me recently which was a rising tide lifts all ships Somehow, by finding success for myself has meant that I can find success for the people around me. And that makes me feel very rich. I'm in a very strange position right now where I owe much of my success to the most destructive force in my life, which has been the turbulence of my physical and mental illness. The thing that has by far brought me the most pain has been a source of constant, constant inspiration, which ironically led to creations which brought me the most joy. Creating art which means something to somebody else and can potentially be a companion to somebody else in the dark justifies my own pain and I desperately needed that to be justified. There are a lot of people alive today who live in the dark. It's a place that I'm very familiar with. In the peak of my health problems I was severely underweight, all my meals had to be restricted and blended and I was so tired that I couldn't participate in life. I couldn't socialise, I couldn't watch films, I couldn't read, my bones constantly hurt, even standing in the shower was excruciating and exhausting. And this went on for years, with no answers. Nobody could have ever convinced me during that time that my pain and suffering would be a source for something good, because it felt insidious. Nobody could have ever convinced me that something constructive can come from hurting every day. But I'm here to tell you, that if you are hurting every day, don't be afraid. One thing I know to be a certain, to be a constant law of the universe, is that life is inconsistent. Life is beautiful and life is hideous. Life is kind and life is cru cruel. Dancing inside this dichotomy and inconsistency makes me know that you won't hurt forever. Whether that comes from resolution of what you're going through or acceptance of where you are, you won't hurt forever. You don't know yet whether or not your pain conceals gold. It definitely conceals wisdom and it's definitely a catalyst for filling you with empathy. So stand strong, my friends, and don't let the darkness consume you. Because once you know the dark and become intimate with it, you become very capable of wielding the light. You could be instrumental for changing this world for the better. There's nothing humble about shrinking or doubting yourself because you are large. You can be ferocious and you could be magnificent. For the medical industry, who too often let people fall through the cracks, it's your duty to do better. For the people living in the light, who have either stepped out of their shadow or have never had to walk beside it, it's your responsibility to pull out, put out untainted love. Our own greed, desire to ferociously expand and decisions rooted in self-interest can benefit ourselves in a material sense, but can be very destructive to the hive and the world around us, ultimately hurting ourselves. So we really must consider that if we're going to step into a bright future. As humans, we have an incredible potential and it would be a shame to throw it away. So community, humanity and changing our relationship with the natural world so it leans more towards homeostasis must be a priority. Priority number one. If you're watching this and there's a knot tied up in your stomach with bitterness, anger or hatred for your fellow human being, be with it. Feel it. Understand it. Express it and then let it go. You're hurting. Give yourself love, forgive yourself, and then project that love outwards and the anger will pass. We have a decision in every interaction to tilt the world towards heaven or hell, towards Jannah or Jahannam, utopia or dystopia, and some people's ideas of heaven will be another's image of hell. So tread carefully, but treat those differences with respect. Tapestries are made beautiful because of the variety and the sum of their parts. Thank you.
to one million people inside this rich tapestry for the opportunity for me to try and spread my own vision of what I believe to be good. And thank you for justifying my pain. Thank you. I love you.